So for today, we're going to be looking at an exotic. Specifically, we're going to be looking at Omnioculus. It did get asked for. And I'm actually pretty excited because I really like Omnioculus, uh, all of the styles that I've made with it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, it really does help. A uh, bunch of things, uh, analytics, uh, helps me uh, motivate myself to make more content. It just all around is a good thing, and I really do appreciate it. So before we get started on the look of Omnioculus, let's actually see what it does beyond the veil. You gain a second smoke bomb charge and have damage resistance while invisible. When you make an ally invisible, they gain damage resistance while invisible and you gain melee energy. So uh, I think this got nerfed either this season or last season. I don't remember specifically, but it was destroying metas, uh, specifically trials. And I will say <laughs> it's pretty funny that stompies got nerfed only for this to take its place and people were like I, I you know i knew a lot of hunters were that were like bro like pr i promise you if you if you guys nerf stompies you guys will see like what we actually have and omnioculus was one of them that people were just like this is gross and rightfully so it was, it was busted so you gain a second smoke bomb, which is really cool. It's one of my more favorite exotics for PvE specifically. I never really used it for PvP. I do understand the like how broken it was, but for me, it was just more of a PvE exotic. And I'm thankful that they didn't mess it up in PvE because I would have been really mad. Although I don't remember the nerf off the top of my head. So if it did, then I will be mad. But that's pretty much it. Uh, again, this one doesn't really need too much explaining because again, it was dominating at one point. So as for the look of the exotic, I think it's really good. I think it's probably one of my favorite looking exotics. We get a bunch of eyes on their chest and that's really it. I think that's the most like cool part from the exotic because the under armor specifically, like it looks like a uh, like cloth to me is is just whatever's. I think the eyes are just the main thing that everyone's going to be focusing on. As for how a shaders uh, specifically, you guys will notice that, uh, well, Probably not right now, but you guys will see that I actually took off Sato Tribe specifically because I don't think it's obtainable right now. I, I could be wrong, but it's also one of those things that that shader is so rare that I don't think a lot of people will have it. So I just decided to have two exotics that are actually uh, obtainable, which is Equid Anger. You can get that from a raid and the Abyssinian Gold, which you can get that from Eververse. Eververse sold it like three, four times this season. So it does come back re fairly regularly. So as for how it shaders, I think it shaders magnificent. This is like a prime example of, a sh of an exotic that shaders really well. I don't think there's any piece that is unshaderable. And a lot of the colors that you see are colors you want to see. So specifically, like it's taking the main colors from the shaders that you see here. So thankfully, this is like one of the better sh uh, exotics that takes shaders. As for the example set, this is where I kind of have fun with it because there's so many things you can do with this exotic. You can do a tactical look, which is mostly the look I go for, but the most you can do with it is the helmet. Do you want to have multiple eyes for the helmet? Do you want to have no face? So that way it kind of looks like your, the, your eyes, your eyes, uh, quotation marks is on your chest piece because then at that point, your all all your like vision will be coming from your chest piece which i think is super cool which is why i'm using the quas grin because i love that there's just a visor and nothing else although there are better helmets and we will look at the like like live example so for the arms we're using the crease and cream grips this is like one of my favorite arms for a tactical look for the boots same thing one of my favorite uh boots for tactical look diamonds born strides i think they're really good and for the cloak, we're actually using the Calamity Rig cloak because I love the fact that the hose almost looks like it's connected to the chest piece. It looks super cool, which is why I'm also using Quas Grin with Calamity Rig because as you guys can see, Quas Grin has like hoses in, or like a like a rebreather type thing. So that's why I'm using it. So as you guys can see, this is how my hunter should be looking. And I didn't actually say, but for the shader using the Mercury Vex Chrome, I wanted something a little bit like dungier or grungier like something like a little down to earth i didn't want anything too bright because this set you i really didn't want to have something too bright but what when i say you can really mess around with this is specifically like for the boots you can go for a bunch of things you can go like this would be super interesting uh, the whole set you can do other things 
This the Psionic Stride Stalkers or the Psionic Stalker Stride specifically look really cool with it. But at that point, you would want to switch out the the arms for the uh, Diamond Sworn, so that way it actually has that bulky look. It retains that bulkiness. And then for the cloak, I would most likely be doing like the Canis Luna. I think this looks super cool. It uh, makes this like round piece the main center focus aside from the eyes. And then for the helmet, you could probably do the Diamond Sworn mask because then at that point, you it's almost like you're covering your face, your eyes. So that way, this is the only thing that your your vision is looking at. And then for shader, you can really go all out and do other shaders. Like the Argent Territorn is pretty cool, but I would probably do like the Abyssinian Gold. Uh, personally, I would go all black with this because I feel like the Omnioculus just looks really cool and aesthetically would be black all around because you're void, you're going invisible. So for me, that just makes more sense. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. I really like the Omnioculus, the main look of it more than the actual ornaments, which is pretty funny because it's usually the other way around, but Omnioculus just looks so amazing. Just the default look that I think the ornaments are a little too uh specific speaking of ornaments we're going to be looking at the first one the leering marrow this one is unfortunately like it's cool but it has one thing that's very unfortunate and i'm not the first one to point this out uh the like belly has a belly button and it kind of bugs me it really actually does bug me a little because it just it pulls me out unfortunately because i think the i think the chest piece looks like menacing as fuck almost like uh like a xenomorph from alien isolation which is funny because i've seen people use this chess piece for a xenomorph uh cosplay which is completely cool it's just the belly button really messes it up for me uh other than that i think it looks super cool like legitimately probably one of the more cooler sets because you can do a lot of things with this one as for how it shaders again it shaders really well there's not a lot of pieces where i'm like that looks really bad like i got anger looks amazing with it i think abyssinian gold also looks pretty cool with it although again abyssinian gold's like uh negative i would say is that the plate armor is brown instead of black which is what i would have liked but other than that yeah again uh this shaders really well you see that the belly button actually does change color as well which is a good thing and a bad thing i don't know which however you want to see it as for the example set, I decided to go with something that I kind of felt comfortable with. So for the helmet, we're going with the Superior Visions Cal, just because it does look really menacing with the right shader. For the arms, we're using the Lycan grips and with the Lycan cloak, because I really wanted a fur aspect of this, because I wanted it to be like a bony, like fur look. I don't know why. For the boots, we're using the Apollo's following specifically because if you see the leering marrow like on the like the sides of the stomach, you guys will see that it has this really cool like bony look, which is immediately reminding me of the Apollo's following strides. So that's pretty much it for the example set. I will have like we'll go over some things you can do with this chest piece because the next ornament also has kind of that issue. Which specifically, let's just look at the next ornament, which is the Sweet Embrace. I think this one looks really cool. I think it looks so cool, actually. Let me just let me just say that real quick. I think it looks amazing. I think the arms or the hands look super, super cool. And there's not a lot to say about this one. Like, just it looks really cool. It's just very unfortunate that we don't have a lot of armor pieces that will look good with this. As for how it shaders, uh, the only unfortunate part is that the hands actually take the off color of plate armors. So as you guys can see from Echoed Anger, Echoed Anger has uh, like a blue steel. And it's kind of unfortunate because I would have liked uh, the hands to take the like the primary color. But it's not that big a deal, to be quite honest. Like I'll work around it somehow uh, from Abyssinian Gold. You can also see it actually goes black, which is super cool. So if you are interested, you can definitely use that. As for the example set, this is where I got kind of had a little fun with it because I am using pieces that I almost regularly never use. So for the helmet, we're using the King's Fall helmet. I think it looks really cool with this set, specifically with the, with the steeplechase cloak. I love how the top actually like connects with each other, which is super cool. The arms are using the Apollo's Fallen Grasps, which is weird because again, that's that's a piece I like rarely use 
and then for the boots we're using the uh the pirate set from this season and i i actually think it looks really cool i didn't want to go with anything too organic which is why the apollo's following is the only piece that's really organic i mean the helmet is as well but not as much as the apollo's following personally and the only reason i'm using the apollo's following is because i wanted some symmetrical uh, arms which is why i'm using it so overall i really do like this one i think this might be my more favorite set from the ornaments just because this one has a little bit more happening the not saying the other one the marrow one is bad it's just the belly button really bugs me as you guys can see this is how my hunter should be looking and the th the reason i wanted to show you guys is the fact that sweet embrace looks amazing i think it looks super cool definitely probably my more favorite ornament from the set but i still think the default look looks amazing uh the reason i wanted to show you guys or the reason i'm here is because i wanted to show you the fact that i think sweet embrace and leering marrow you could definitely combine pieces from the same armor sets specifically let's actually look at collections because i don't want to waste your time and me trying to find the armor pieces so for end game let's go over here so you can combine the dark hollow stuff the dark hollow stuff is going to look amazing with it the twisting echo stuff is going to look amazing with it as well i think the resonant fury suit could look good with it i think the helmet and the arms are probably the two pieces you're going to want to combine it with because the boots and the cloak just don't look good the boots specifically are too bulky and the cloak i think is just not a good cloak uh, but for the dark hollow and the twist and echo stuff, I think these two are interchangeable. You can use whatever you really want. I think the cloak would probably be the best piece for this. And then the boots for this one. Um, but other than that, you probably combine something from here. Like maybe some of the lichen stuff would be really cool. But again, it's just, it's very unfortunate that we get so, so specific ornaments and we don't have a lot of armor sets to combine them with. So if you guys wanted like to see a random set that i would do i would probably well first and foremost change the shade let's do this one real quick but then for the boots we're going to be using the uh king's fall boots because i do think it looks really cool with it for the cloak we could be using the this one twisting echo for the arms i feel like i want to keep the arms maybe uh for the chest or the helmet we could probably switch it out with this one Oof, we'll see we'll see or actually let's do this real quick uh let's do this one and then for the arms what about this one no too techno te technological for this one you probably do this one like honestly and then maybe change the shader because i'm not really feeling the shader Oof, why does this look fucking menacing, bro? So something like this is some I would actually rock this. Or uh actually I'd probably just do this. Probably switch out the arms. I'm not really feeling the arms. Yeah, I would probably do this. Like I I don't care if I'm using the same uh helmet and the arms. I think this looks super badass. Uh I would probably switch out the boots because they're not symmetrical, and at that point I'm just using i'm just still i'm using the main thing that i did before which i would probably i would probably like this a lot more maybe change the shader to something red so it can no too much red maybe this one Ooh, why does that look weird i don't know but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below again there's a lot of things you can do with this chest piece specifically the base look of it you can do tactical uh which is mostly what you can do with it i think tactical looks the best and the reason I say you can do a lot of stuff with it is because we have a lot of tactical stuff for the hunter. That's why I say that. So hunters, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me, I got links in the description below. Thank you guys for all of the support. I will say guys, I did get a new job. So my videos might not be coming out as fast as they usually do because I'm literally recording this at 10 AM today at 11 16, which is on, what is it? What's it Wednesday. So I go to work at two o'clock right now so i won't be back until six so only four hours but those four hours i could be like making content so i do apologize uh once youtube and all the other stuff starts kicking in and i can make like a comfortable living here then i would probably do that but until then be safe and i'll see you guys later